Hi, I'm Mark and I'm passionate about English. Well, it's a glorious day and I'm in Christchurch today. Christchurch is the town next to Bournemouth. Uh, Poole is the other side of Bournemouth, but they actually all run into each other. There's no gap between them. As they've each grown, they've grown together. Um, Christchurch is a very old town, uh, a thousand or more years old, as is Poole. But uh, Bournemouth, actually, a hundred years ago, there was uh, very little there, but it's uh, grown uh, quickly. Okay, so uh, you may be able to see behind me some ducks and seagulls and different birds, maybe a swan if we're lucky. Um, so I thought today I'd do some uh, idioms connected with birds. And before uh, I, I start, I just want to say a very big thank you to all of you who've been liking my Facebook page and liking the videos and watching them. I think about 3,500 likes now for my Facebook page um, in just over a week. So that's fantastic. Thank you so much. And don't forget you can watch uh, mini lessons uh, back to the 1st of June. I've, I've done uh, about 40 now already one each day. Okay, so the first one is sick as a parrot. Okay, now a parrot is uh, a little bit like my uh, cockatiel Tina, but bigger, and usually from South America, and especially the Amazon. Um, sick as a parrot means you're disappointed. Um, let's say you are really looking forward to going to a concert, and then for some reason the concert was cancelled, so you could say, oh, I'm so disappointed, I'm sick as a parrot. Um, there is another expression, sick as a dog, but that does mean you are sick, you are really ill. Um, yeah, so don't confuse those two. Okay, I did say there might be a, a swan um, around, but uh, one of those big white birds with the long neck. Um, so the next idiom is to swan around. So, let's say my website is a huge success and I buy um, a Mercedes and a yacht, <laughs> etc. And I want everyone to see. So I drive around town with the roof down and, and so on. This is called swanning around. It's kind of I'm trying to show off that I'm successful and uh, I want everyone to know. So this is to swan around. Okay, the next one is an early bird. So are you an early bird? Basically an early bird means you like to get up early. Uh, you don't like to stay in bed so long. Maybe you get up at six or half six or seven. Um, yeah, you like to get up early. And there's um, a proverb, the early bird catches the worm. Okay, a worm is one of those kind of things in the ground. Uh, yeah, long sort of pink color and often birds try and eat them of course so uh, it what it means is the person who gets up early is successful all right so that could be used to sum up a situation and another proverb I've got for you here to kill two birds with one stone now I don't really like this proverb because it's uh, killing birds but it, it's of course only a proverb but what it means is you achieve two results with one action. So let's say I came to Christchurch today and after filming this lesson um, I think I wasn't planning to but then I think oh I'll do another lesson. So I came to do one, I drove here to do one lesson but I ended up doing two. So I killed two birds with one stone. One trip to Christchurch but two results. Okay, I hope that's clear. All right. Um, okay, my children have flown the nest. All right, that means they've grown up and they've left home. And we also talk about uh, the empty nest syndrome. So this is talking about when the children have left home, suddenly the parents, so the husband and wife are left just together. And it's like, oh, <laughs> now we have to uh, just be with each other. So sometimes this can cause problems for some couples. And of course, bringing up children is a, is a difficult job, takes a lot of time. So suddenly they have more time. Okay. 
She's no spring chicken. Okay, this just means she's not young. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's that's all it means. She's no spring chicken. Okay, next one. <clears throat> to take someone under your wing. Okay, let's say um, I am uh, working in a company and uh, a new person arrives and my boss asks me to to look after them, to take care of them, to show them what to do and if there are any problems to help them. So this is called uh, I'm, I'm taking him under my wing because of course um, birds protect their young, their chicks, under their wings often when they're in the nest. So that's where that idiom comes from. In a flap. Now birds kind of uh, flap, this is called flapping their wings, Okay, but if you say he's always in a flap, it means he's panic. He panics. He's not a relaxed person. He's always rushing around, worrying, panicking. So we say that person is is in a flap, or he, or I could say, oh, I couldn't find the camera this morning. I couldn't find the microphone. I was in a flap. Okay, so it doesn't mean I'm always panicking or worrying, but. Uh, maybe that situation caused me to be in a flap. Okay, watching me like a hawk. Now a hawk is one of those birds of prey, we say, one of those birds that uh, fly um, high up and often they hover. So they're looking down on the ground for a mouse or something to swoop down and catch. So a hawk watches things very carefully. Let's say, <clears throat> again, I'm working for a company and my boss isn't very happy with me. And he says, Mark, I'm watching you like a hawk. It means uh, he's really paying attention to what I'm doing and checking that I'm doing things right and so on. Okay, um, another bird idiom, as the crow flies. So from where I am sitting here by this kind of unusual tree to my home I guess it's about five miles or what is that seven kilometers as the crow flies so that means in a straight line but because of course I have to go by road and turn right turn left and it's not straight um, so that's not as the crow flies okay so yeah if you want to know from one point to another point, the exact distance in a straight line, um, we say it's 50 miles or it's 50 kilometers as the crow flies. Okay, let's have another one. Oh, dead as a dodo. Now a dodo is one of those birds that's um, extinct, so there aren't any more of them anymore. They've died out. So dead as a dodo, you could use, for example, Maybe I'm having trouble with my laptop, it's uh, been infected, uh, viruses and so on, and it stops working, and um, I have a computer guy who comes and helps me with any computer problems, and he says, I'm sorry Mark, it's dead as a dodo. It means it's finished, it won't work anymore. Um, you could use that for quite a few mechanical things, um, of course TV, um, fridge, washing machine. Um, yeah, okay. Um, here's oh, an, a nest egg. Okay, a nest is what a bird builds to lay its eggs. But when we talk about a nest egg, we are talking about kind of saving up some money, usually for later in life. Um, but doesn't not always. Maybe, for example, parents could be saving up for their children when maybe they go to university. Uh, but usually we say it for uh, when you are saving up for later in your life, maybe when you've finished working. So let's say every month I save uh, £100 um, because I want a nice nest egg when I get older. Alright, here's another kind of proverb expression. Birds of a feather flock together. Okay, when birds are together they kind of fly, oh, we call it a flock of birds. Um, so basically what it means is people of the same type do things together. 
Um, hmm. Let's say uh, some women uh, always get together for a coffee and to have a gossip. And um, you could say, oh, here they go again. Birds of a feather flock together. Okay. I would recommend you actually look that one up as well, just to be clearer. Okay, so now we are on to a joke. I'm not sure if you've seen any ducks behind me, but the joke is, why are ducks smarter than chickens? Why are ducks smarter than chickens? And the answer? Ever heard of Kentucky Fried Duck? <laughs> okay, we often you don't need to put the have you before the ever. Of course, the full sentence or full question would be, have you ever heard of Kentucky Fried Duck? But you don't need to in this case anyway. You can say, ever heard of Kentucky Fried Duck? Okay, so it's saying ducks are smarter than chickens because they are not being uh, killed uh, to be sold in Kentucky Fried Chicken. Okay, <clears throat> your Beatles question is about a song called Free as a Bird. Now the Beatles split up, I think, about 1970, but they released a single called Free as a Bird in 1995. Of course, John Lennon had died, um, but they actually, or well, Paul got hold of um, a very old recording from uh, John's uh, wife, Yoko Ono. So, and the three of them, George, Paul and Ringo, made it into a single with John's voice. But the question is, when was Free as a Bird originally composed? So released in 1995, and um, when, but when was it originally composed? Okay, and uh, to finish today's mini lesson uh, with your Beatles hum, I'm just hoping no one's going past at the moment. There's a path just behind the camera. Okay, this was not really a single, but very beautiful song. Um, <clears throat> uh, by Paul. So here we go. Okay. Well, some people did go past, but <laughs> anyway. Um, so that's your mini lesson for today. Um, I'll give you a clue about the uh, the humming there. It is connected with today's idioms. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next uh, mini lesson. Oh, I just wanted to say one <laughs> last thing. Um, I mentioned in one of the early mini lessons in June that uh, I'm Welsh or I'm from Wales, and today we could say uh, is a glorious day, it's a fantastic day, it's an absolutely lovely day. Or we could say it's a beautiful day. Now two words, uh, English words which sound uh, quite funny with a Welsh accent is, uh, we, we often say it lovely, uh, Welsh people say lovely, lovely. And uh, for beautiful they'd go, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. So anyway, if you want to start talking with a Welsh accent, those are your two words to start with. All right, thanks a lot, and thank you again for liking my page. And um, please watch, uh, if, if you only watch one mini lesson, try watching some of the others. Some are better than others, some are funnier than others, some are more useful than others. But um, yeah, watch a few and see what you think. All right, thanks very much indeed. Bye.